This video will help administrators get started using Turnitin Feedback Studio, accessed through Turnitin.com. By the end of this video, you will be able to access your administrator account, enable login options for your institution, create instructor accounts, edit account setting options, access account statistics, share rubrics and quick mark sets, manage paper deletion requests, and identify Feedback Studio's AI writing detection capabilities. After you've walked through the process of setting up your account with your email and password, navigate to Turnitin.com and click the Login button in the top right. After logging in, you will be able to see the name of your institutional account and ID number on the home page. Your role as an administrator is important as it gives you responsibility for ensuring that instructors create their accounts and begin to take advantage of the features of Feedback Studio. Additionally, administrators have access to key features such as sharing rubrics across accounts and viewing account statistics. We'll discuss this further later in the video. To make logging into Feedback Studio easier for your instructors and students, you may wish to enable single sign-on for your institution using Google, Clever or Classlink. To enable Google SSO, find the Edit button on your homepage and Edit Account Settings. Scroll down to the Register heading and follow the link to the sign-up form. You will then need to complete the form and send it to Turnitin. To enable Clever SSO, the district admin of your Clever account must first configure Turnitin in your Clever dashboard. As the Clever district admin, access your district's Clever portal. Search for the Turnitin application and select Request App. This will send Turnitin your request. Similarly, for Classlink SSO, your Classlink administrator must first configure the Turnitin application from within Classlink. For all SSO methods, you will be notified when your request has been processed. Even if you use an SSO option, you will still need to add instructors, so let's look at the important task of creating their accounts. First, click on the Instructor tab. Here you can easily upload instructors in bulk by clicking Upload List and choosing an Excel file. To add instructors individually, click Add Instructor, fill out the details and click Submit. Instructors added by you will receive an email from Feedback Studio with a link to join. You should also be aware of the account settings available to you. To change the account name or account administrator, navigate back to the administrator homepage and click Edit, and then Edit Account Settings. Here you can change your account name, administrator details, and other default options for the account. This includes various features you can choose to allow or disallow. You can also choose how papers should be added to repositories and whether submission release and paper deletion requests should go directly to the administrator or to another email address. You may want to access usage settings for Feedback Studio, as these will give you valuable information about the classes instructors have created and the features they are using. To access statistics, go to the Stats column on your administrator homepage. Select a date range and create a CSV report. Now let's look at quick mark sets and rubrics. Quick mark sets are libraries of pre-built comments that instructors can apply to student submissions to save time and increase consistency in feedback. Rubrics and grading forms are used to provide students with information on the criteria used to grade their work and by instructors to evaluate student work. Turnitin provides instructors with a number of default quick mark sets, rubrics and grading forms. But as an administrator, you can add additional ones to your library to suit the needs of your instructors. You can create these yourself or take them from the Turnitin website where Turnitin regularly publishes new sets and rubrics in the Resources section. To upload a new Quick Mark set, click on your account name, select the Quick Marks column, then import the set. For rubrics, select the Rubrics and Forms Library column, then the Import button. 
Both rubrics and quick mark sets can then be shared to your account so instructors can access it. Please note, instructors can also create these resources in their own accounts. Your role as an administrator includes handling deletion requests. This is when an instructor requests that a paper be permanently removed from the institution's account. You will be notified by email about any new requests and will then have the opportunity to review the request. Note that if you decide to approve it, the similarity report and any associated grading will be deleted. This is different from an instructor simply deleting the paper from their assignment inbox, as in this instance, the paper will remain in the repository. To review deletion requests, click on the institution's account name in your dashboard and then deletion requests. You can then read the request and decide whether you want to reject it or permanently delete it. If you want to recover a recently deleted paper, you will have 30 days to do this from the date of the deletion. You can see which papers can be recovered by selecting the Recoverable option within the Deletion Requests tab. Something else to note is that when you log into Feedback Studio, you will see it in the Administrator view. If you ever need to access the Instructor view, click on the Administrator button in the top right and select the Instructor option. Note that this will be an Instructor view from your account and not the view of any instructors associated with your account. A feature your instructors may ask you about is Turnitin's AI writing detection. Administrators and instructors will now be able to access an estimate of the amount of AI-generated content in student submissions, but you may need to be in the instructor view before you can see this. This feature is not visible to students. The AI writing indicator is available in the Feedback Studio viewer under the blue layer, We hope this video provided you with a useful introduction to Turnitin Feedback Studio. For more help with Feedback Studio and with Turnitin's AI writing detection, visit these resources.